The iPad is a great device for teaching and learning, but it can be a little problematic when you want to show your screen to the rest of the class because you have to find the right adapter, then hook it up to the right cable, and then that leaves you stuck at the front of the classroom with your iPad. So what I want to show you in this video is how you can wirelessly use your iPad with an Apple TV and therefore no longer be tethered to the front of the classroom and be able to roam around and have full control of your class. First off, you need a few pieces of hardware. Most importantly, you need the Apple TV. This little hockey puck packs a punch. Now, the Apple TV only does a digital output. So what you'll need to do possibly is convert that digital output into an analog signal to work with an existing monitor or possibly digital projector in your classroom. Now, to do that conversion, what I recommend is this little adapter right here. This is called the Canix ATV Pro. And what this does without any power is it converts the HDMI signal into VGA and audio. So, best thing to do is simply plug this into the back of the Apple TV, plug in the power to the Apple TV, and then using your existing VGA connection in your classroom is hook up the projector or digital monitor to the ATV Pro, and then you are connected to the Apple TV. Okay, so once you get the Apple TV connected to the internet, you'll be able to see a landing page that looks like this. And you'll know you're connected to the internet because you have multiple icons as opposed to just the standard two that come out of the box. If you need to reconnect, use the settings icon and go to general and connect to the internet. But now, the Apple TV connected to my display here is acting as a receiving device for anything that has AirPlay enabled. And iPad 2s, iPad 3s, and the newer iPhones all have AirPlay uh, set up inside of it. So to get that going, what you want to do is you want to take your iPad and you want to either use your forefinger swipe and push up to bring up the multitasking, or you can double tap home and that will also bring up multitasking. But when you get that little bar across the bottom, you want to swipe to the right on that bottom and then it takes you to the iPad controls. When you're on the iPad controls, you have this little icon right here, which is known as the AirPlay icon. And by selecting the AirPlay icon and turning on mirroring, what you will then see when we come back to here is everything that is happening on my iPad is now happening on my external display. And so if I wanted to, I can go and launch any given application, say the Elements application. I can double tap one of these items and now I can manipulate that and then also have other students manipulate that as well. Now any iOS device in your classroom that has AirPlay on it can then be projected from here. So if you have a classroom set of iPads or iPod Touches, what you could do is you could have students AirPlay directly from their seats to the screen up uh, on the front of the room. But what's really great about this for uh, us as teachers is now I can walk around the room without any wires connected to the iPad and still have control of everything in the classroom. It's a great handy tool for educators and uh, I highly recommend it.